Hey guys, today we're going to go over the mini tour partition wizard. We're going to go over some of the features and uh, also show you a demonstration on how to create uh, multiple partitions on one of your uh, spare drives. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do if you, uh, let's say you want to move a partition, delete a partition, maybe you want to wipe. Uh, a partition or wipe uh, your data to zeros and ones like let's say you have a thumb drive external hard drive um, just another hard drive that's in your system and you just want to completely wipe it clear all the data this is also a great tool for this is just not for partitions so you want to go to uh, mini tool.com slash partition dash manager get to this page uh, you can download the free version or you can obviously upgrade to the pro version uh, there are some uh, differences between the free and pro. The pro uh, doesn't even come with the data recovery, but if you get the pro deluxe, that does come with the data recovery option, which is great if you're trying to, um, let's say, recover some data off your computer. Um, you know, this is a great tool for that. If you just want to move a partition, the free version is good for that. Um, so you could, I'm not going to go over every feature in this video, but you, as you can see, you have tons and tons of things you can change and modify to uh, your system disk or just a regular external drive. So let's get right into the software. So the first thing you get open is the partition management tab. This is where you can copy partitions, uh, delete partitions, wipe them, create new partitions. And as you can see, we're gonna do a quick demo here. Disk three is actually an external um, SSD, 256 uh, gig drive. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna actually create two different partitions. I wanna create a uh, data one drive and then a data two drive, just to give you an example of different things you can do. So when you click on your uh, drive here, then you get the option that says create partition. So you're gonna click on partition. I'm gonna just call this data 01 and let's just assign it any letter here. Um, and I'm not gonna do the, two, uh, the full 238 gigs. So let's say I just want 100 gigs. Um, I just put 100 there, or you can actually use a slider to adjust exactly what you want. Um, but this is, like I said, this is just a demo. You can do the full length of your drive, which is what most people do. Um, but I'm just gonna split up this drive into two different partitions. So we're gonna do 100 gigs. Um, and what I love about this software is, you see how fast that was? The partition's not created yet, because you have to hit apply. Once you hit apply, it actually does uh, some things in the background and creates that partition. Uh, which you can do in disk management on the windows but like i said this is a great tool um, i think it's a lot easier to use um, so let's go ahead and create our second um, partition here so we're going to select the rest of the 138 gigs here hit create partition and we're just going to call this data 02 and assign it the M drive. And then we're just gonna allow the rest of the space left, hit okay. So you can see we're gonna have data one and data two partitions. There's the letters and then hit apply. And it's just letting you know that it's gonna apply these changes and it could wipe data. So you wanna make sure you are doing this on the correct drive you're working with. And we know we are, cause this is the, uh, the new drive that doesn't have any partitions. So we hit yes. And it's creating those partitions. Now let's open up our this PC, which is gonna show us our new partition. So you can see we have our C drive, which is our main OS drive. I have a D, uh, D for my data. And then also I have a new new partitions here, data 01 and data uh, 02. So those are those new partitions we created, which is the 100 gig and the 138 gigs. Um, and they're wiped and ready to go. Now let's say you have, um, a external hard drive and you just want to wipe the data off it just to you, you want to give it to a friend um, you know whatever the case might be you want to go ahead and delete the partitions and then hit apply and you can see those partitions in our PC should go away and they just went away so we hit OK now let's say you just want to wipe um, this drive so we just click on that uh, space hit wipe partition now, here's some options that you have. Uh, a lot of people don't know what a lot of these are because you see, you know, fill sectors with zeros. That just writes zeros to uh, each space of the drive, ones, zeros and ones. Now, the, 
one you really want to do is called the DOD wipe, which is three passes. Um, this will take a lot of time depending on you know the size of the drive as well, but this would do kind of like a government grade DOD wipe, which will completely erase all the data off the drive and will be completely unrecoverable no matter uh, if you're using Celebrite, any kind of forensic uh, X-Ways or another forensic tool, nothing will be able to recover that data back. Um, so like I said, once you do this, be sure you know this is what you want to do because once you do this, the data is gone off that drive. And then you can give that to a friend or sell it online, you know, whatever you want to do. So once we do that, you can see wipe is uh, pending. So we hit apply and hit yes. And like I said, this will take a lot of time to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel. But I just wanted to show you the steps on how to um, actually uh, do a DOD wipe on a external drive. The next two uh, tools on this are really cool. One is called a space analyzer. This is kind of like the tree file size application that's out there that's free and open source, but it's already built into this program, so that's really nice. So what this does is uh, you select what drive uh, you want to scan. You hit scan. Once the scan is complete, it's going to show you how much use space you have, free space you have, and then what applications are taking up the highest amount of gigs. And then it breaks it down by folder just so you can see, wow, I got 150 gigs of data in the user's drive. You know, what user on my system is using a lot of storage? So can I kind of help you up, uh, help you free up space, uh, figure out what, you know, maybe you have something on here that's old, like an old ISO from an old uh, program or uh, OS, and you don't need that anymore. You can just delete it to help you clear up some space. So this is a good tool just to uh, look at things that are taking up space. Of course, you have the data recovery tab, but this is only for the uh, Pro uh, Deluxe or Pro Platinum or you know higher up uh, licensing. So this is where you can actually recover deleted data or deleted partitions from your system. So this is also a great little tool that's already built into the mini tool partition wizard. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Um, there's a lot more features that I didn't go over, but like I said, you can definitely check their website and you can actually see all the different things that they have, um, that might be helpful. You even do a media builder and do a, uh, Windows PE, uh, boot media for a thumb drive. I mean, it's just crazy the amount of, it's endless things on here. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Just doing a quick overview of this software. If you need to move a partition, wipe a uh, partition or wipe a hard drive or USB drive, hopefully you use this tool because I think it's very easy and fluid. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And have a great day, you guys. Thanks for watching.